Good morning, Houston, FloridaDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. This morning, my guest is Santo Torsivia, a principal with Market Insights and the economist for Floor Focus as well. Santo, how are you doing? I'm doing fine, Kemp. How are you? I'm good. I thought we'd get together and talk about some recent news and statistics. Before we did that, though, I thought I'd just check real quick. You're vaccinated, right? I'm vaccinated, yes. <laughs> Me too, and I've had it. So, you know, we're not going to get back to normalcy until everybody gets vaccinated, right? Amen. Exactly. All right, so let's talk about a couple things. The first one I want to talk about is Dixie reported yesterday some pretty good results. Sales way up and back in the black on income. But also in the middle of all that, they reported, you know, the carpet industry's growth, which uh, they said it's up 50 to 55%. That's a pretty good number, isn't it? Yeah, and some of that's coming from overseas, too, because we're looking at imports of uh, carpet and rugs, Mm -hmm. and they're up over 50% in dollars. So the industry is having a good bounce back right now. I guess the bar is low, but it doesn't matter. It's still coming back. Yeah, granted, this is Q2 versus Q2, the 55% number. Last year, we know what happened in Q2, but still it's showing healthiness in the business, especially in the area of soft surface. Yeah, and that's always a good sign. Yeah. So Charlie Dilks, you know, is the chief product officer for CCA Global. And I went to their meeting two weeks ago. He stood at the stage and said that, you know, for the first time in the history of the organization, which got started in 84, that the dollar figure for resilient sales was up over carpet. That's a pretty big deal, isn't it? Yeah. Like I said, we're looking at import numbers Mm -hmm. and resilient imports, total resilient imports, are 50% more than carpet imports right now. So, yeah, resilient is marching ahead of everybody right Mm -hmm. now. The strength of LVT. Yeah, those import numbers don't surprise me, though, because most of the carpet's been made here historically, right? right. Yeah. What else did you learn by looking at those import numbers? Every category is up. Some less than others. Laminate's lagging, but it's up. It's probably the weakest of the import figures are for laminate flooring. But wood and ceramic are doing well. Like I said, carpet is, has the number one import growth, uh, followed by right behind by resilience. We're having a good year right now, especially on the, re- on the residential side. Yeah. Housing starts are up. Interest rates continue to be low, which just totally flabbergasts me, considering the money supply that we're creating. Uh, money supply is up 14%. That's huge. You know, it's going to crash the dollar. Not crash it, but diminish it, which is going to make imports tougher, but exports more valuable to people overseas that are buying American goods. Let me go back to these recent Q2 reports. I mentioned Dixie, and their stock responded nicely. They jumped up to a level, you know, they haven't seen in a little while. Look at Mohawk. Mohawk had also very good results, record revenue in the history of the company. You know, they've got three different divisions. Their ceramic division's on fire, and their rest-of-world division is uh, was up 60-some percent. So uh, their Europe business is, is really strong. But their stock valuation right now is a little muted. I'm guessing that's because of some concerns, uh, not with Mohawk necessarily, but just within the industry, some of these supply chain concerns, don't you think? Absolutely. And these supply chain concerns are hurting commercial as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's slowing down the logistical chains. There's labor shortages. And let's not forget that, uh, you know, we talked a little bit about prices going up. Mm-hmm. The material cost for construction materials is, is, is still high. And that's causing people to hold off as well on the commercial side, not so much on the residential side. And, and you have the, the case of COVID question. By that, I mean nobody knows what's going to happen in terms of policies or whether COVID variation delta is going to come back. So places like offices, people working from home, is that going to continue? Is office space demand going to go down? Lodgings, is that going to remain muted? Retail, people have learned now to to buy on the Internet, though that doesn't affect flooring nearly as much as it does other categories, but... Yeah, you bring up an interesting point about the difference between the commercial and the residential market. The residential buyer, the the homeowner, is not in the market every day. And so if there's inflation on that side of the business, they, they really aren't aware of it. But on the commercial side, and even into the builder side, they're in the business of buying flooring every day. So there are some, I think, on that side 
that are hoping that there will be a leveling out and some sense of normalcy to pricing and, and maybe holding off. Do you think? Yeah, I agree totally. So we're talking about inflation. Inflation is the big concern right now, isn't it? Absolutely. Producer prices are up 6.5%. Consumer prices are up 3.8%. Anybody who goes to the gasoline pump knows that their prices are, those prices are up over 50%. That hurts shipping costs. That hurts travel. It hurts a whole bunch of things. So, Santo, you get inquiries from people who are thinking about making major investments in the business. And a lot of those are private equity firms. They call you up and they say, hey, they don't tell you who they're thinking about buying, but there's a lot of traffic right now in there. Yeah, if, if I were to have an uh, investment firm, equity firm, uh, inquiry index, it would be very strong right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's some cash out there that's going to change hands and some brands that are going to be either consolidated or uh, changed over to a new owner, wouldn't you say? Yeah, and when you have high inflation, investors like to go to assets because that will rise with the cost of everything. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to have it sitting around in cash or trying to you know, have it hang around in a deposit account somewhere. And so they're looking to invest that money, and you know, they're looking for where they can get the best return right now. Mm -hmm. The flooring industry looks pretty good right now, yeah, it uh, does. believe it or not. Mm -hmm. All right, Santos, great to catch up with you. Happy Friday to you. Again, we're talking to Santo Tercivia, a principal with Market Insights. And you've been listening to Kempar and Floridaily.net.